All right. In, in this video, I'm going to review my Top Step 150K Express Funded account for Tuesday, August 15th, 2023. It was a break even day. Uh, I ended, ended up the day up $33.26. And 20, um, so it was a very break even day. I'm going to go over the executions and uh, move from there. So I broke one of my rules, and I don't even know if I'm going to keep it as a rule, to be perfectly honest with you. I do think I can probably play the New York Open. It's not that big of a deal I think uh, but maybe I'll you know I will just I'll just stick I mean you know what scratch that I will stick to what I have been trying to do which is uh, only start playing the market at 0950 um, so everything up until this point at 0950 uh, I should not have been playing so but I will go through the executions line by line so at first, I thought the market, after having a decent run up here, I shorted at 229 evens and I got stopped out. Very first one break even to uh, 227 spot 75. Um, I would have been stopped out with a stop above that high, anyways, as you can see with this with this uh, 930, the opening candle. Um, I shorted again at 220 spot 25, and uh, I I got stopped out as the market was coming up. I shorted again at 224 spot 50 right on the market open and I believe that I got stopped out again at 244 so I was taking losses on the open this is generally speaking why I'm trying to avoid playing the open in the first place um, I then I think I tried to get short again and uh, I, yeah that, that must have been a stop out shorted again at 249 spot Two five, um, and then as the market came down, I think I was in like 500 of loss here. So I finally got a good short on and put the stop above the high and 249 spot 25. First parcel came off at 204 spot 25. Second parcel came off at 195 spot 25. Third parcel came off at 202 evens. Next short came came on at 213 spot 75. As I saw that the market was coming in this one minute uh, fair value gap. And I got stopped out break even here, which, um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, or maybe, I'm not even sure. No, that was definitely, okay. This was a short and then cover and then I shorted again. So I did take a good short on at 203 evens and I took two off at 131 evens and then shorted looks like I shorted two at uh, 134 quarters I think I tried to get long here yeah 149 evens um, oh that might have been another short I'm not really sure I did try to short the bottom here and I got stopped out at 151 quarters. I then got long at 152 halves and uh, took three off as they came up. Shorted three at 167 evens uh, and was stopped out break even on that trade. Shorted another three at 185 quarters and I got stopped out at 202 quarters, which I guess that was above. 202 quarters. Was that above that high? No, it wasn't. I really shouldn't have been stopped out on that. Yeah. All right. Uh, shorted again at 198 evens and then partial, partial, partial. Got got out three. Uh, shorted again at 189 halves as the market came back up. Re-entered the market. Uh, cover, cover, cover. Long three at 163, three quarters. And then partial, partial, partial. Taken off. Shorted three as the market traded below this low right here. You can see as the market cleaned up, I, as the market, the price action became cleaner, you can see that my, my performance improved. Uh, and I, at one point, I was positive a couple hundred on the day. So shorted three at 165 halves and then partial, partial. I don't know where the last one came off, but it came off somewhere. Uh, at some, I guess I tried to long at some point in here, 158 halves. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. And I thought that, uh, okay, well, the market looks like it might come back up. And it, sure enough, it did end up coming back up. 
I shorted the market. Yeah, so I shorted the market here at 143, three quarters, and I put my stop way up there, and it ended up coming back, and I took off partial and partial. And and then I took losses as I as I was trying to long the market at the very end of the day. And I ended up taking one final long at fifteen thousand eighty spot seven five. Uh, cover, cover, cover. So that was the day. It was a break even day, as you can see. I did have some clean trades. Uh, these are, you know, I'm lowering the number of executions. Believe it or not, uh, I know it doesn't look like that, but this is actually trading trading less than I have been on previous days. Um, you can see that some of my electronic trading hour session, Asian session, and, and London session trading. Um, so for the whole day, I was break even, and I'm still I'm at a $2,369 loss. So it's going to be a while before I can trade out of this. Um, you know, the market, the Nasdaq has just been remarkably unclean. I mean, this is just really uh, difficult price action. Um, I would say this is this has all been quite difficult. Uh, what I will say is that. Um, So a couple of observations. Number one, there is a reason why I avoid the New York Open, the Stock Exchange Open, from 0930 to uh, 0950. And I don't start trading until 0950. Guys, there's a reason why I do that. Uh, and you can see why. Just getting chopped up right on the open is no fun. And this was an ICT Judas swing, by the way, because it was obviously contrary to the, to the big move. Um... So you can see why I, I really, one of my rules that I'm trying to implement and will implement from this point going forward is not trading until 0950 when the first macro time kicks in. Um, second thing I've noticed, guys, is that uh, I'm going to start using traditional swing stops, uh, except for when I can see that the market is pretty clearly like running against me and you know, I have it dramatically wrong. Uh, as you can see with a lot of these positions, guys, if you know, if I just use a traditional stop, basically, and just, you know, just slapped it, slapped it below a swing low or slapped it above a swing high, I'd be able to hold these positions on. And so, as you can see, like, I'm doing well taking off partials. Um, I'm doing, I can play both sides of the market. Like, you can see I was long some of the day. I was short some of the day. But... What were like the mistakes that prevented me from having you know a positive at one point you know if I did not take the losses I think I would have been at like 500 today. Uh, you know trying to play the New York Stock Exchange Open that was a mistake. Um, so so that was a mistake. Um, using too tight a stop losses and not using traditional. So. So these are my observations for my trading on August 15th, 2023. Number one, again and again, I prove to myself why I should avoid the first 20 minutes of trading. Um,
Yeah, so let me see just regular trading hours as well. All right, yeah, I don't need regular trading hours, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, although I do like to see those RTH gaps. So, guys, my observations for Tuesday, August 15th, 2023, I, I proved to myself time and time again why I don't play the first 20 minutes of trading. Um, the New York Stock Exchange Open. I mean, just I, I proved to myself time and time again why I don't do that. And I'm trying not to do that. And so every time that I break my rule and trade before 0950, no matter what I'm seeing in the chart, it doesn't matter. Like, you can see that the market basically just went straight down right at 0950. And had I just waited for 0950, anyways. Um, so my stops need to start looking traditional. So what I mean by that, like stop here, stop here, you know, stop down here, stop down here, stop down here. Or stop up here, stop up here, stop up here. Like, yes, there's slippage, and yes, that's where people put their stops, and yes, this and that and the other. Uh, that's where I also have to put my stops. There's no doubt about it in my mind. I, have to, I, I, I can't get away with these. Um, so I need to use traditional... Uh, swing point stop. So what do I mean by that? Like stop, 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 or stop, stop. Right. Yeah, the market draws to liquidity, but your objective is to stay ahead of the, the, the next swing, basically. Um, so I'm using too tight of stop losses. Uh, I'm, I'm getting better. Like, believe it or not, guys, these, this is actually fewer executions than than what I usually do. A lot of these are partials, right? A lot of these are taking off partials. So I'm happy with taking partials. I'm happy with what I'm doing in that sense. Um, so, all right, there's a reason not to play until 0950. I need to start using traditional swing stops regardless of slippage and distance. Still will use break even stops. Number three, fewer executions. Uh, four, you got to wait for a defined like PD array. So you got to wait for a market structure shift. You got to wait for a breaker block. You've got to wait for an order block, or you've got to wait for a fair value gap, inverted fair value gap, breaker block, balance price range. You got to wait for something. Like you got to wait until you see something. <laughs> you can't just enter the market because there's a new low or there's a new high. Those turtle soup entries are are no bueno. Um, you got to wait until you got to be disciplined guys you got to wait till you see some sort of you got to see some semblance of a of a pd array like breakaway gap for example breakaway gap or trades into a fair value gap whatever you know if it's the first breakaway gap or you see it trades to an old order block or creates a breaker block you got to be able to see something and be like yeah that's what i see um i don't need to use regular trading hours i think that's pretty clear uh Although I can use the regular trading hours for the regular trading hours gap. And then I'm doing pretty well with taking parcels. So it wasn't a loss today. I mean, is it, you know, is it what I want? Obviously not. I want to make money, but it's better than losing money. And so um, I feel like on a fairly difficult day today, like the market making a pretty significant move at the very end of the day, it was okay. All right. Um, it was a review of a break-even day. Bye-bye.